Well, let me ask you a question. When you say, you know, today is okay, tomorrow's going to be better, the next day is going to be even better than that, what I want to make sure people get the distinction, okay, that you all get the distinction, it's not that you're not or we're not good enough today. Right. Right? What, what I hear and what I know of you is we're capable of growing individually, mm -hmm. professionally, personally, Absolutely. Uh, and as a business if we have this focus on just getting better. So it's not right. from a scarcity or negative mm -hmm. perspective. That's correct. It's from a human growth and fulfill our potential perspective. Right. And, and that would be more accurate, not more accurate, but that's the message that you share with your employees, right? Exactly. So if you go back to the prior value of respect for yourself, um, I have no problem telling my team and them telling me and everyone in the company going, wow, we are really awesome. In fact, I expect that. We want awesome people. We want them to be able to look and say, I absolutely rock. And that's good enough for today. Tomorrow, I'm going to rock even harder. Right? And so it's the idea that we, we only, yeah, we, that's just what we do as a company. Right. We are totally accepting that we're awesome as we are. And I say that, and I know it sound, I say that actually in a very humble way. That's not a, it's right. not a bragging yeah. type way. Um, but we just, no matter how awesome we expect today, what we do know is that the world keeps moving. Things keep going on, and um, part of the joy is keeping up <laughs> and getting ahead. And, and by the way, what, what I want to make sure that, that you're all in agreement with and in accordance with is, is these are Stevens and his team's values, all right? They're not yours. If they happen to be yours, that's great. But this isn't about, you know, taking Stevens and his company's values and making them yours. This is really about identifying your own and living that truth, that purpose, that value system so that you're trading your life for what you love and what you stand for and what you stand against as well. Absolutely. So, yep. Yeah. So some people might say, oh my God, it's too much pressure. I don't, I don't want that kind of pressure. Well, he thrives in it and so do I. Right. Other people say, oh my God, if tomorrow's got to be better than yesterday and it's got to be better than the day before, uh, that I'm in chaos. I don't like that. That's cool. Yep. But then you find people around your team okay, that that's cool with as well so that you make your growth and you make your day-to-day -day life easier to handle and manage. Right. Um, someone's value system could be, um, I don't work to live, I, or I don't live to work, I work to live or something, which means I'm going to limit my time to 30 hours a week. And that could be someone's value system, which is just as relevant for them as our value systems right. are for us. So again, back to Lady Gaga, it's not a matter of there's no one right or wrong culture. Right. It's finding what's true for you. Right. That's, that's the key. Awesome. Cool. Um, so final, the final value. Our final value is perseverance. And we've defined that as certainty in the face of obstacles. And this really came from a, a story to where, uh, I'm sure you guys uh, can, can resonate with this as well. We were trying out different models. And I was, again, we were self-funded. And we were basically down to a couple, a couple paychecks left. And we weren't making a lot of money to start with, right? All right. the guys were taking a, a discount on what they should be earning. And, you know, we, it was basically down to the wire. And I said, guys, uh, we either have to do something this month and make this happen, or we're not going to be around next month. So what do you want to do? And, you know, there was like quiet in the room. And they were all kind of sitting there. They're like, well, we better work hard then. We better get back to work. And it was the perseverance of not even accepting the idea that we would quit. Mm. It's that quitting, you've heard that quitting is not an option. But it's easy to say. It's harder to do when you're down to the last dime, knowing that, hey, if we don't make something happen, um, it's going to be it's going to be a difficult situation uh, here in just a couple weeks, and it was those sorts of things that we've applied in different areas of the company as well. It's perseverance when we've kicked off several versions of the website and we thought it was awesome and we did testing and it completely bombed. And what we did is we simply backtracked and tried it again, right? And so the idea is that now what we have is we have a culture of innovation where trying things is cool and it, the expectation of failure is okay to where it's like if it's okay in other words the idea of i'm not going to try something because it might fail 
is just completely not within our value system at all.